Hi guys and ladies, it's spring here at Lake Catcher Big One and what that means is that the fishing should be easy. Likewise, I found a lemon pepper fish recipe online and that also looks easy, but it also looks scrumptious. So what do you say we get some fish? Let's start off the show with this little bait called a Slim Swims, and I might change it to something else, and I'll put all the tackle info in the notes below. Anything we catch on this is fair game for our lemon pepper recipe, so let's go get them. Right. This is an eating bass because it's less than 12 inches. The scientist that did the survey of the lake said that we have to pull the small ones out. So perfect for eating. Another perfect eating fish. <sighs> yeah. nice. Woo. Dinner, dinner. Oh yeah, that's a chubby guy. Yeah. What do we have? Oh, good sized bluegill there. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> A monster crappie. I caught him right under the boat. Oh, my. Too little. Embarrassingly small, but I'm going to eat them. There's a couple of little fillets on there. Yes. Yes. Another big crappie. Come on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but we got plenty of fish for dinner. Another crappie. Oh my goodness, they're so big. Another crappie, not my preferred eating fish. But they're not bad. Wow, are these big. I think I have plenty for uh, lemon pepper fish. I'm headed home now. Here it is the next day. We did pretty well on the lake yesterday and now look, I have one and a third pounds of these fish fillets. And I'm not even using the crappie today, just the bass and bluegill because well, I like them more. So let's get right to cooking them and it doesn't get easier than this. Okay, no fooling around. I'm calling out the heavy artillery. In this huge skillet, I'm putting a stick of butter. Now, 
that's about a half cup, right? Now let's just coat the bottom of the pan with a, a bit of vegetable oil. So now I'm going to put this on 350. So here I've got a cup of coconut flour, and all I'm going to do is add our fish to it. You know, the fish are still damp. And then I'm going to shake them up. Okay, they're all dusted up. Now time to add them to our skillet. Okay, I've got McCormick's lemon pepper. Salt is like down the list, number five. So that's good. We don't want too much salt. I want flavor. So what I'm going to do is sprinkle this all over the first side. And then after these are done cooking for two minutes, we're going to flip them and I'll season the other side. Oh, the fragrance. <laughs> Almost time to flip. Now, I'm going to season side two. Same way. They've been all lemon peppered up, and I'm taking them out. They look good. They smell phenomenal. They are looking so good. They smell great. I'm going to just keep them warm in the oven for a little bit. So I've got like a half a stick of butter, a little more, that I'm going to add to this skillet. I'm going to set the stove top to medium high. I've got about three tablespoons of olive oil here for our pan. I've got a teaspoon of kosher salt here. I'm just going to add it to our oil and butter mix. Likewise, I'm going to put about a quarter teaspoon of coarse ground pepper. I've got about three cloves of minced garlic here. You only want to do this for like a minute, it says. Don't want to burn it. That's enough. Let's get our asparagus in here. So these uh, cook in the butter and oil for 10 minutes. And you have to keep turning them. Our asparagus is almost done. And while our fish is keeping warm in the oven, I might as well let you all know the famous celebrity food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks herself, is on her way over for dinner here tonight. Well, I'm too shy to ask her directly if she'll marry me, even though it has been 50 years that we've been seeing each other. But you know what? She has never brought up marriage either. And if only I could point out the benefits of marriage to her, I think she'll come around. They're done, they're done, I'm ready. So while our asparagus is still nice and hot, I'm going to spoon on loads of this freshly grated Parmesan. Parmigiano Reggiano. Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheekson. Thank you so much for joining me in my humble trailer abode. And um, you had a chance to partake of that uh, delicious, uh, well, don't let me prejudice you, but it was lemon pepper fish. And yes. what did you think it of it? It was excellent. It was lemony and peppery and it really? was tender and I love I like lemon anyway so it was a good combination thank you and what about the buttery asparagus oh, yeah. with uh, a little parmesan there oh those are excellent because very seasonal I like I love asparagus anyway so thank, thank you. you thank you so much you, you, you know Miss Lulu uh, the newlyweds who live next door to me here uh, they seem to be so loving and I notice that every morning when he leaves the house he kisses her goodbye Oh, how nice. Yeah. Well, you know, that's not even half of it. When he comes home in the evening, he brings her a dozen roses. Wouldn't you like that? Sure. But I hardly know the guy. Oh. Um, can I have a hug?